think we got uh, the best uh, tuk tuk driver in uh, in Delhi. It's just like no fuck is given. <laughs> yes, mate. Nassim, the best tuk tuk driver in New Delhi. Sing too. That's his name. And it, it drives a little bit like a crazy motherfucker, but that's that's all right. And we we kind of late anyway, so it's it's good. With my uh, Turkish princess, we went. Going on our way to. Uh, What's that? Dalia Ganj, Dalia Ganj. Okay, uh, not sure what she meant, but anyway, so we are on our way to uh, Jama Masjid, which is um, a big mosque, one of the biggest, I guess, in Delhi. And during the, the holy month of Ramadan, we are expecting quite a lot of people. Uh, sunset is in a, in a few minutes, 20 minutes or something, so I look forward to see how it's gonna be, you know. Muslim people are a minority, but because India has such a huge population, I think there is something ridiculous, like more than 200 million uh, Muslims just in India. You know, for me, coming from Pakistan and Middle East before, where obviously the countries are majority Muslim, it, it'll be interesting for me to see, you know, how it is for Muslim people here in India, a country where it's actually a minority. Uh, so. Looking forward to, to that. We had to jump off the, the cab because uh, it was getting like too crazy traffic wise. As you can see, it's extremely busy at this time in terms of traffic and all. Uh, it's obviously like 6 p.m. almost, so peak hours, I guess. Um, and, and yeah, getting, approaching it. Obviously, we can see more, more and more people. Hello, sir. More and more people wearing the the, the, the Muslim the Muslim hat. Uh, yeah, the style the style of the mosque. Looking at looking at it, looks extremely similar to uh, to the one in Lahore. Uh, very similar mosque, it seems. There are sellers everywhere, uh, selling textile, selling all type of stuff, fruit. Uh, People are really driving crazy. Why do you do that to yourself, Indian people? I don't understand. Don't, don't you like to live? Don't you like life as much as I do? Because sometimes the way you drive makes you think otherwise. And look at this. Uh, I, think, I think people are getting ready for, uh, for Iftar. So, uh, as you know, once the sun, during the holy month, once the sun sets, that's when the Muslim people can start um, eating. So they've been, they've been fasting all day. So half an hour before they start to buy food and then they are ready for, for uh, you know, the, the, official, the official time. So it, it creates like a lot of buzz. Uh, of course, in, in the shops around, people selling food. Oh, look at that. that, that smell, the smell is amazing, uh, barbecue. There's a lot of barbecue around here, it seems. A lot of uh, pakora, pakora, samosa, a lot of fried stuff, a lot of uh, grilled meats. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> Be careful, it's a dangerous place, my friend. Oh, look at that. So many. I think the mosque is this way, maybe. Let me go and see. Hello, sir. Jama Masjid, this one or this one? Okay, keep going. Okay, thanks, bro. Okay, oh, coconuts. Okay, so oh, melons, melons, beautiful, Baba. Mm, smell good. Oh wow, look at that. What's that? Hello, boss. What is this? Penny. Huh? Penny. 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 Food. Interesting. I've never, never saw that before. Huh? Seems like the mosque is uh, waking up. Uh, you really have to uh, to look where you're going in those streets. Oh, I can't believe they don't shut the traffic for uh, scooters and motorbikes and all that stuff because it's so dangerous for pedestrians. I mean, look at that. You have like rickshaw everywhere. Uh, that's too much.
Okay, so the entrance is here. Water, water. I'm okay, brother. Water, water, water. Okay. So there it is. We are now in the mosque area. Time to time to get rid of the shoes. So here we go. And you hold on to your shoes for now it seems or forever. Yeah, there is no uh, no place to leave them. So you just you just keep them with you. How many people you? How many people you? Yeah, just myself. What's that? Tickets. What do you mean tickets? Oh, you have entry for foreigners. Yes. I didn't know. But how did I mean, of course, I'm foreigner. Yeah, I'm, I'm white. You can tell, but oh man, it's a mosque, bro. You shouldn't, you shouldn't charge mosque entry. Well, you should, you shouldn't charge mosque entry. It's not good, man. It's a shame, bro. You shouldn't charge entry for a mosque. Why do you charge people here? I'm not talking, that's not my point bro. I'm, I understand, I understand, but you shouldn't be charging people to, to, to go inside a mosque. Well, it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, not, not very happy with the uh, charging entry uh, fee experience, but I suppose, I mean, I can also understand why they do this, but it's weird because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's the first time for me. I've been to so many mosques in Pakistan, uh, Iraq, Turkey, Iran, and not, not once I got asked for, for money, you know, to, to, to enter. You see, this is a place where people gather, and although, hello, brother, how are you? Although I'm not a Muslim myself, that's good, good to hear, man. Although I'm not a um, Muslim myself, I could very much be a Muslim, you know. There's a lot of Westerners converted to Islam. And I don't think it's fair to, to charge those people uh, as well. So anyway, that's just my opinion. I might be wrong. You tell me what you think. But uh, yeah, a little, bit, a little bit disappointed. But um, geez, the place is hectic. You see, I have literally to go to walk around. Uh, people to uh, make 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 my way uh, through the crowd. I like it very much. I like I like the idea, the family gathering, a lot of fruits. Hello, it's very very nice. A lot of fruits everywhere. I'm getting ready. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum, boss. How are you? Very cute, very cute. Thank you. So you ready for iftar? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Are you Muslim? Uh, no, I'm not Muslim. I'm Christian. Okay. Yeah, I'm originally from France. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Are you all from Delhi? Yes. All from here? Okay. Delhi 6. Delhi 6. <laughs> Sounds good. Would you like me to go and get you some more food or drinks? No. This is good for you? Okay, <laughs> banana each. Oh, All good. Oh, yeah. what is the name of this? A oh, date. Yeah, that's it. I was looking for this. Thank you so much for this. But I will wait because not yet. Yeah, I will wait also. Good. Although I'm not Muslim, I can still, you know, respect and wait until everybody eats. Very nice of them. They invite me to join to join the family. They have a new family member now. You see that's 
big generosity. They haven't eaten all day, but they're still willing to share the food with me. So I really appreciate it. It's nice of them. Come, buddy, come, come, come. Uh, name? Oh, okay, nice. Okay. Hello. The family is getting bigger. This place is so nice. The way they lit the mosque. It's absolutely beautiful. Is your, your brother? Brother? What's your name? Abuza. Abuza. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. First you drink, and then you eat. Okay. Very good. Even the little one is uh, eating, he's happy. <laughs> Everything was going well. And I mean, when you look at that, everything can only go well, I guess. But for me, not really, unfortunately, uh, someone stole my shoes. It's a little bit upsetting. I don't know how I should take it, really. What can I say? So, that's how it is. It's, uh, I know there are some kids, you know, walking around and, and uh, trying to, yeah, you know, spot for Fancy stuff or whatever. And how are you, bro? Good. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So anyway, that's me right now. I was eating with this very nice family, and uh, I had left my shoes just literally right behind me. And as I was not looking, uh, someone—I think it's one of the kids roaming around—he just came and and, and took them. So. It's a bit of a shame really because it ruins the, the whole experience, you know, I'm in a beautiful holy place but still, you still have, you know, thieves and all. Uh, it, it's crazy, I don't know if I should laugh or cry, you know what I mean? Brand new shoes as well, I bought them like a couple of weeks ago. That's probably why they got stolen too, I should have been more cautious. I'll try to not step on, uh, you know, pointy stuff because I have a long way home now. Yeah? Okay, it's part of the experience, I guess. What else can I say? He didn't get uh, allowed to, uh, me to get it. Also, uh, you are a foreigner and you have to pay 300 rupees. Three, yes, 300 rupees. I said I'm Muslim too. No, you're foreigners, you have to pay. Never once I got asked for money to enter the mosque, so I was a little bit, little bit upset. I'm Muslim too. Like, uh, if, if I'm not Muslim, so still they have to get allowed to me, allow me to get in. Yeah. Because this is not a Muslim uh, thing. Yeah. yeah. No, Muslim's door is open for everyone. And yeah, it's a bit sad to see so many uh, poor people and beggars and all, but that's, that's how it is, unfortunately. Back to the Delhi jungle. Wow. Holy Christ. This is. So there's a shop you can buy it from there. Okay. okay. There's a shop. There's a shop for me to buy like flip flops or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay, I'll find. So this way. Yeah. 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 Oh, just there. You want me to take you there? If you can, yeah. If you don't mind. Okay, let's go. Thanks, brother. So what do you do? Um, I'm I'm traveling with my motorbike from France to Delhi. So you're a traveler. Yes, I'm a traveler. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here in India, but I'm not going to lie to you. Come, please come. Please the come. the Jama Masjid experience wasn't very good in the end. You had a very bad experience, so I'm so sorry to. Ah, it's okay, bro. Uh, shit happens. It's not not a big deal. It's only material. It's just a pair of shoes. Let's go and find some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Pierre. Sorry. Pierre. Yeah, I'm what? Shazan. Shazan. Okay. Nice to meet you, brother. I'm a DJ and a producer. <laughs> Oh really? Yes. And a good Muslim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I will give you my uh, socks at least. No, no, it's okay. It's Don't dangerous. Worry. It's here, it's here. Okay, so now trying to uh, walk through the crowd and find, find a place where... Oh, there you go. Okay. Brother, do you have this but bigger? Yeah, oh, 43. How much? 500. No, no, no. You no, 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 Follow, follow the DJ. Yeah, okay. Bro, Shizam, I really appreciate it, but I will pay you. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, let's go, let's go. Okay. Uh, where, where are you going? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going to find a taxi, so maybe. Where, where are you going? Uh, towards the uh, main bazaar in uh, Paha Genshin. Paha Genshin. Yeah. Yeah. So who's by on this way? You have to go from this Or left, eh? Yeah. It's better to go left. Yeah. Okay. Well, Man. I really appreciate it. I love you, brother. And I love I'm you too, so sorry. It's okay. It's happened to you. It happens. It's yeah. only shoes. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Love no problem. is still here. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, bro. I hope there's no problem with the country. No, I know no, shitty no. people will happen. No. People are like, you know, it's going to be forgotten I know. tomorrow. Yeah, no? No worries. Have fun, brother. You too, brother. Bye. Anyway, okay, let's go back to the hotel. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a beautiful place. Uh, Semi beautiful experience, but you know. It, it's okay. This beautiful guy made up for it, uh, Shazam. So, thanks for the for the new flip flops. It's better than going home uh, barefoot.